What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Need for Speed Payback. Today we are creeping up to the race dealership, but before we make a big purchase, I do want to open up some shipments. So uh, since you guys have been loving this game so much, I kind of want to invest in the series a little bit. I bought some speed points so we can buy some premium shipments here. Uh, the thing is, is like you earn a decent amount of money in this game, like enough to change up your car every once in a while, but it kind of really helps if you just choose one car and stick with that and upgrade that. Whereas I want to be able to do a bunch of cars and a bunch of different videos and that sort of thing. So we're going to buy a bunch of these premium 10 pack shipments right here. So that's three, that's 30 we're gonna be able to open. We're gonna be able to get one more, I believe. Nice, look at that. All right, so we have 40 shipments we can open. Now we're gonna go over here and uh, look at that. So we've got a base one and then we've got 40 normal ones. I'm just gonna speed through these. Hopefully we end up looking pretty good. I think that was, I think it's $50 worth. I don't know, like I said, you guys have just really been enjoying this series. So I, I wanna support and, and kind of Give something back that you guys are really gonna enjoy as well So, uh, dude, we already got a lot of money from that last one five thousand we got two Two coin cards from that last one two two money cards two bank cards whatever you want to call it Five thousand bank dude. We're getting lots of stuff I'm excited about this. I wonder if you can get duplicates it's like we just got 35k out of that take guesses where we're gonna end up when we're done with this All right, don't skip ahead and cheat I'm gonna guess we're gonna end up around, dude, I don't know, we're getting like 15,000 a pop. I don't wanna actually like do the math and actually, I'm just gonna guess 1.2 million. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just gonna guess. I guess it kinda depends on, on how, how much we actually get each time. Mint underglow, that's gonna be kinda cool. But yeah, this is just gonna make it more fun. We're gonna be able to actually buy decent cars, switch up our cars, buy customizations for our cars and, and, and kind of make sure that we're in the right spot. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's, it's gonna be good, dude. All right. So we've been through 13 of these. This is the 13th one so far. Oops, I don't need any more base packs, hold on. I wish they made it easier to continue opening them. Like I'm pressing A and a bunch of A's, then you have to go right once. You gotta time it right. I'm gonna do a... A right switch right there. Ooh, we got 40k bank in that one alone. Dude, this is exciting. I'm excited about this. Come on, baby. We're about halfway there. If you guys want to skip ahead, I totally understand. I don't blame you at all. I realize this is a lot. Purple underglow. We definitely already had purple underglow. So it looks like we are getting duplicates and it's not... <gasps> we just got 45k for that one, dude. Holy cow. That was amazing. I just messed up my button press again there. All right. Halfway point. The lime underglow. That looks good. My goodness, dude. 10K. We're getting lots of horns. I haven't customized our horns. The one thing that I really need to do is figure out what these parts points do. In fact, I should probably look that up before we actually buy our next car. Oh, that, that was a fat money one right there. Without a doubt. We had like almost 50k there. What if we got a, a line of 25k's? What if we got a 100k bank? And just one of these. That'd be insane. I would say this is a pretty solid investment though. I mean... We got a lot of money. Like this is gonna last us for a very long time. I'm, I'm happy with my purchase here. Alright, looks good. We've got... 11 left after this one, 25k bank. That's that's the big boss hog. I haven't seen anything over 25k. So another pretty good bank one. We're at 848,000 with 10 left. I don't know, boys. My 1.2 is probably going to be a little bit high. Probably going to be a little bit high, but that's okay. I was just hoping we were going to be able to get better luck. Looks like we we might be somewhere around 1 million. But that's still solid, dude. I'm just curious, like, I know eventually we're gonna get into, like, there are gonna be Huayras and, and all kinds of crazy cars. So I'm wondering if those are actually gonna cost real money value because most of the cars that we've seen so far have been real money value. I mean, we're talking about spending, you know, 60K on an A45 and stuff like that. Look at that, hit a million. We've got three left, boys. 
Officially a millionaire in Need for Speed World. It's not gonna last long because we're about to drop a ton of money in this episode. We just made a bunch to drop a bunch. I guess that's how it goes. All right, last one. We got 30k bank to end it off. I like it. All right. Let's go ahead and enter this dealership. And let's see, uh, let's see what we're working with. I know exactly what I'm going for. We're gonna be looking over here. I'm gonna be purchasing a R34 Nissan Skyline GTR V spec from 1999. The uh, the quintessential necessity to every car enthusiast collection. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this thing and um, we're gonna get it for for race events, dude. I'm excited about this. This is dope. I'm pretty hyped on this. All right, boys, look at her. She is an absolute beaut, but the thing is, is she needs to be tuned up a little bit. We definitely are not looking good from the tune-up point of view. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel over to this tune-up shop. We're gonna try to buy everything that we can. Then we're gonna go to our garage. We're gonna customize it visually. Then we're gonna come back to the tune-up shop because we should by then have new stuff to buy. And then, um, I don't know. We'll see We'll see where we go from there. Well, I guess we'll probably go do some races, huh? All right, we're getting our nitrous capacity up like crazy. We can get that, that turbo there. I'll buy that for now. Nothing else is really standing out to me here. This does a little bit of everything, but... I mean, we're talking about a, a, a .07 improvement to our quarter mile. I'm not worried about that. Okay, cool. So we got that. Hopefully some better parts show up here in a second. Now I'm going to fast travel to the garage, and this is where things get interesting. This is where things get very, very exciting. Here we go, boys. So we're going to have to switch out. I'm sorry. I feel bad. But our, um, our what's it called? Our S2000 is not going to be our baby anymore. So we're going to go ahead and check this thing out. Let's see what we have for... I want to check our vanity items first. So let's see what we have for nitrous color. We can get blue, pink, green, red, purple, cyan, pretty much anything we want. All right. We can get air suspension. We can get different colored tire smokes, different horns, and then uh, underglows. Dude, a lime green R34 might be kind of cool. I don't know. I feel like we need to start off with paint. Let's start off and um, let's pick a paint job here. I mean, we could go for the silver and do some, some blue stripes, kind of like Paul's R34. I kind of feel like we've got to do that. I feel like we have to. We've got to play, pay homage to, to the legends. All right, so we're going to add a new decal here. Pretty much just want a long straight line. How do we rotate this? Can you rotate? Oh, our, okay, nice. Rotation to 90 degrees. And then we're gonna have to make this bigger. But I'm worried it's gonna be too thick. I'll make sure these are in the center of the car. I feel like that might look a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that. And then we want to duplicate this. Redo, undo, replace. There's no duplicate button? Interesting. All right, so it's at a 90 degree rotation and it's at 469, 117 scale. So we're gonna add another one. We're gonna have to do a 90 degree rotation. And then, what was it, 417? Four seventeen one oh four. It was four sixty nine one seventeen. Four sixty nine one seventeen. All right, 
So we've got a straight stripe all the way across there, and then we're gonna have to do that a second time to make another racing stripe. I'll see you guys in a sec. I guess my memory served me a little bit wrong because these things are way bigger than I thought I remembered them being. The, the like thickness of the lines. I thought they were smaller, but they're definitely big. So uh, I'm gonna, we got the, the, the top ones done. Now we're gonna go ahead and set these up so they line up. That looks good to me. So this is at a 240 scale. We're gonna change the color on this. Oh, we have recents up here, that makes it convenient. All right, so we've got that there. We're gonna add another decal. Bring it to 90. What was the scale on this? I always forget the scales, man. Scale is 240. That's, that's confusing because it's not, it's going the opposite way now, that's fine. We'll just line it up. Looks good to me. So we'll go ahead and uh, change the colors here. Go to our recents, boom, look at that boys. All right, so we've got the top side done. The thing is, doing the side decals is always the hardest thing when you're trying to make this. I try to make this in pretty much every every customization racing game that we play. And the side decals, it's, it's kind of like a checkered flag, but not really, it's kind of like a warped checkered flag. I don't know, dude, it's, it, it's very hard to make. Something like this might be kind of good. I mean, that's that's kind of the same idea, but it's black and white. Can we? We change the color it's gonna make it black and blue see that that doesn't that doesn't really work so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that this is always the the hardest part dude I could never get this part right okay so it's not perfect but I would say this is this is fairly close I I like the look of it I, again the sides are always the hardest part to get but I think that that's pretty close to, to what it looks like it's close enough. So uh, let's see what other kind of customization options we have here. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the wraps. We are definitely gonna save the changes there to a new slot. I think it looks good, dude. I like it. All right, so we've got that. Now let's check out the visual customization. So we need three, we need one more jump activity with a two star rating to get new hoods. We need eight seconds of straight drifting for new bumpers. We can do a new splitter. I don't really want to get, ooh. Oh, that's ugly, dude. All right, I'm not gonna change that. I like the look of the GTR so much. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to change all that much. What did, what was his like? His was a uh, five spoke. It was kind of like this. That's, that's what it looked like from the movie. Pretty much, pretty much any of these would work. Just gonna keep looking. They have some cool looking rims, dude. I like a lot of these. There's the the black six spoke. Dude, they have a lot of options. Holy cow. There's this type of a five spoke. A lot of these look really good too. All right, dude. I think we're in, in for a good time with rims in this game. I'm gonna try to, to stick true to what it actually looked like. So we're gonna go for that first five spoke that we spa. Did we spa? That we saw. A five spoke kind of like this. Vorsteiner. I'll take them. All right. Primary paint. They were kind of a little bit shiny. We don't really have a shiny option here. Let's go for all white. Quite all rims. Looks good to me. Secondary paint. Lighten it up a little bit. Quite all rims. Good stuff. We changed the calipers. We can change the discs, but no calipers. I feel like that's a waste of a purchase, but we'll we'll take it. All right, what do we have here for side skirts? Ooh, that's... I mean... A... A wide body R34 could be kind of cool. It's not really wide body though. Hold on, where'd that one go? This one. I don't like the front bumper on that though. It's kind of cool, but I, I, I'd be willing to do something like this 
just to make it look a little bit more aggressive, but I don't want to go too, too crazy. So I'm gonna go with just some Nissan sky side skirts there. Wheels we've already done, exhaust, rear bumper. I'm gonna change this up a little bit. This is changing the entire, entire deal if we go to the, I'll go with that. That looks good. We don't want to do the set. All right, I think that we don't have headlights. Oh, we can do something to the taillights if we want. Black them out. What do you guys think? Smoke them out a little bit? I think we smoke them out a little bit. Looks good. I don't think the original one was smoked out. Actually, you know what? These taillights are so beautiful, I kind of want to just let them fly. I kind of want to just let them fly and, and, and be how they are. Wing mirrors. Not going to change those up. Windows. Get tinted out a little bit. All right. Looks good, boys. I'm in love. I like it a lot. There we go. Leave the garage. Cool. So now we're going to head back to the tune-up shop. We're going to tune it up a bit more, and then it's time to get this bad boy in a race. What are we working with here, baby? All right. So new block, new exhaust, turbo with some jump. I, I mean... That does a pretty significant change to our jump. We also have a, another turbo with jump. Do we really want that much more jump? We've got a gearbox with nitrous. Well, dude, our nitrous is gonna be nuts. I'll take this. Header with nitrous. Dude, this is disgusting. ECU with brakes. Oh, this thing is gonna be nasty. It's gonna take our top speed down a little bit, but give us, oh no, that's taking our, our NOS down too. All right, boys. That's what the heck I'm talking about, baby. All right. We're going to set our uh, our objective for this next thing. Why? It shouldn't take us that. We're, we're, we're not going to follow the GPS. I was going to say, why would it take us that long to get up there? Dude. This thing is unbelievably beautiful. I love it. I think we did a pretty solid job. I really do. Oh, that's why it's going to take so long. Because you got to get down to the bottom. Is there a quick way down there? Can I access it from here? Are you serious, dude? Oh, that is that is a heartbreak right there. One thing that I am a little bit concerned about, if you guys take a look, recommended level is 209. We're currently at 172. So obviously, every 10 minutes, that parts store is gonna upgrade, or kind of update, and we can keep going back to upgrade, but I just wanna get this thing in a race. I don't... I don't think it, it, it's too big of a deal. I think we're going to be able to manage. We were six warring leagues, exiled from the city by the house. But out here, we found our common cause. We are the Silver Six, and one day you will hear about us. Okay. Ooh, avoid coming off the road and finish before time runs out. We've got a seven to one bet here. All right, I'm gonna go for that, boys. First, get over Shoot. Silver Dan. Not making this easy, are you? Hey, gotta protect ourselves. All right, so we're not actually gonna be racing anybody. We're just kind of doing this on our own time. So that's nice. It's a time trial, but the thing is. Dude, we're already under leveled. Our, our car is already going to be slower than what it technically should be. And then we're also going to actually have to like really focus on, on braking well through corners and stuff. Cause we don't want to drift off the road. Stay on there, Trev. We're good. We're good. We're good. Trust. It's still active. Okay. So it looks like if you keep... I don't know what it is. Like, maybe if you keep a tire on the road or two tires on the road, it still counts. We don't want to have four tires in the dirt, that's for sure. We're gonna have to cut any corners. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, we're still good. Okay. All right, this is, this is a little more lenient than I thought. I figured it meant you had to have tires on the Easy. pavement, but we were just off-road there. Go under Fortune's Gamble Bridge. Better hurry, engines are revving. Not the one that's gonna win. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. So now we can be a little bit more reckless, but we still want to try to stay on the hey, road. Little 
This thing feels good. We just need to get get some customization items in there, get some more speed cards on it so we can up, upgrade the speed and stuff. Nice work, amigo. Final stop across Santa Curva Bridge. I'll make it. All right. We're still active on our side bet. Even this guy's minions are going off-road, dude. I hate the traffic in this game, dude. It drives me nuts. Especially drifting around corners. That was such a solid turn until that car was there. Again. Alright, here we go. We lost quite a bit of time right there. Here we go. You never really know what's lurking around the next corner. It's a stupid freaking civilian driver, always, dude. Alright, here we go. I can't really go around to the left. Cause I wanna I wanna stay on the road. Like I can't go off-road and swerve around them like I normally would. I won't say the last location over radio. <laughs> it's where you and I crashed that Mustang back in high school. You always blame me for that. That was all you, Gaio. Details, details. <laughs> We're almost ready, Juapurate. Okay. Somehow that counts as still being on the road. Let's go, boys. We're good. We're gonna be fine. This thing is way more lenient than I thought it was gonna be. Nothing like driving into oncoming traffic. Why not? I don't want to cross lanes though. Like we're in the oncoming traffic lane now. I don't want to cross over to the other one because I feel like that truly would be off road. F off. I hate the AI in this game. They're not even AI, they're just. Just the random. Computer drivers. I don't know. All right, we got it, boys, and we are able to finish that. Holy cow! So we were way under level, and we we were very conscious about our turns the entire time. There kind of slowed us down a little bit, but uh, we still got it done. It's good stuff. I like it. I'm gonna go with the right side. Come on, give me something good. We actually need to start getting good stuff. That looks like it's gonna be pretty solid. Increase the top speed a little bit, not a whole lot, but I'll take it. Fine, I'm a man of my word. Just sent you the location. Was that supposed to be a challenge? Do you think that's crazy? The outlaws rush is gonna crush you if you can even get past me. <laughs> oh, I'll get past you, and I'll be ready for Lena too. Oh, I didn't say Lena. I said the rush. Same difference. Take it from me, amigo. It's not. I'm excited to take on this Outlaw's Rush. Obviously, that's going to be kind of an in-game type of deal, but I think it's going to be cool. Drift for 1640 yards and win the race. It's a 6 to 1 bet. I'll try it. We'll see what we can do here, boys. Let's get it. Man, what's changed, Gaio? Sticking it to the house seems like it would be right up your alley. Yeah, we tried, we really did. But this is better. We're done getting crushed by the house. Now, enough talk. You got a race to lose. All right, here we go, boys. I'm a little bit worried about this one in terms of our, our level and stuff. I feel like we're a little under level here. I feel like our, our huge nitrous tank is about the only really good thing we've got going for us. Along with the fact that we just took that guy out, but he kind of cut us off. He kind of had it coming, I'm not going to lie. Got a random cop and a racer over there. And we actually have a pretty decent speed. Now we're going to have more trouble here. Oh my gosh. just ran us off the road. 
that drifting in. Let's go, boys. Gotta keep going. A little bit more drifting. There are two main areas where we drift. It's this corner and then the other corner on the exact opposite side. Okay. Just gonna watch out for the uh, civilian drivers. Make sure we don't run into them. If we keep our speed up, I think we should be able to win this. Gotta stay ahead. Okay. We're gonna have two more laps to, to get 700 yards done. You try to. I'm not even sure what we just ramped off of, but I'll take it. We heard that from the track. What if we. I was gonna say, what if we went to the wide lane here, but I don't think we can get around that center divider. We've got 400 yards left. I think we're gonna be fine. Side. Get in that dirt, you get sideways and you just keep on going. This is the final lap too, so we've got one more turn to make. Woo! We did it boys. I cannot believe we did that at such a low level, but we freaking did it. That's what I'm talking about. Beat the auto log rival time, got our side bet. We did it with style, baby. I'm talking about left is the way to go. Come on now. Jump and speed in our engine block. It's gonna take off our NO2 capacity. I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. All right. First race down with the silver six. Kind of an interesting little, little thing we've got going on here. An old school friend and his crew. Forgot how slick you were behind the wheel, Gabriel. Come on, drop this crazy bike, bring your crew, and come run with us. We found a nice foothold in Felix that really need people with skills like yours. Are you kidding me, Gaio? Don't tell me you're still running the same crap that got our old men busted. It's different this time. Sure, this time it's gonna get you busted. Totally different. Just show up for the next race. We'll show you how good it is out here. All right. Well, I'm going to see you guys there. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to check out some more of this R34 in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like in the video if you guys enjoyed. Oh my god, did you guys see that construction barrier? They just went flying. That was insane. We have a shot our objective. I'm going to go hit this thing. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.